Welcome, this is Cami from the Home Decor and Do It Yourself blog tidbits. Now today I want to talk to you about regrets. Now unfortunately this isn't the juicy kind of regrets like why on earth did I kiss that boy in college? <laughs> Though I do regret that. <laughs> Let's talk about design regrets, specifically kitchen design regrets. I just revealed our new European farmhouse kitchen. If you've had a chance to watch that video, you'll probably catch on to how much I love this space. After living in a renovated RV for six months and bouncing between Airbnbs while we built this new pole barn home ourselves, it feels wonderful to have a space designed and finished, especially a space like the kitchen that gets used and loved frequently throughout the day. But I have to tell you, this is the first kitchen I have ever designed from scratch. I honestly felt a bit out of my element and a little unsure of what I was doing with these four walls as I was trying to visualize from nothing and with a budget all that we could do. Now that it's finished, there are just a few things that I regret or wish I would have done differently. And I thought you might be interested to um, hear about those things, maybe it will be helpful should you ever have the chance to design a kitchen yourself. I'm excited to tell you that this video topic is a collaboration with a few of my dearest YouTube and blogger friends. I gotta say, I think our kitchens are all really incredibly beautiful. It will be so interesting to hear what kitchen design regrets that they have. Now you'll get to hear from my sweet friend Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. I love the Victorian farmhouse style in her just recently finished remodeled kitchen. Her kitchen has so much charm and it still functions amazingly well for her busy family of eight. Now Chloe from Boxwood Avenue is also sharing her kitchen regrets today. In fact, this fun topic was her idea. <laughs> I've always been smitten with her white concrete countertops, her French range, and her overall sophisticated cattle ranch life and style. Julie Blanner is also sharing kitchen regrets. Now I think her kitchen wins the award for the most soothing kitchen. I adore all the creamy white tones, the warm metals, the cohesive aesthetics, and just her minimalist simplicity. Finally, you'll get to hear from Sarah from She Holds Dearly. And this is the first time I've had a chance to collaborate with her here on YouTube. I have loved watching her breathe life and beauty into every corner of her 1906 farmhouse. She has served its roots well, and I'm excited to hear her talk about her kitchen. I am going to leave a link in the description box below to each of my friends' videos, as well as a playlist where you can find all their kitchen regret videos. I hope you'll take the time to check them out. As for my first kitchen design regret, I knew at the minute my, my husband installed them that I had made a mistake, the windows. Now I don't regret this row of light filled windows for one minute, but I do regret the style I chose. It was one of those choices I was rushed into at the shop. I didn't really know what I liked, so I just said, go with the windows with the top grid only, and we added a transom window to lengthen it out. Now in truth, the top grid lines bother me throughout the whole house. I really wish I would have just left all the windows clear and just made actually one single longer window above the sink rather than the transom. I think it would have looked more seamless. I feel like the grid lines obstruct the gorgeous mountain view. Now we were on a budget for windows, but these small decisions would have still kept us within that budget, if not even saved us some money. And I probably would have liked it a lot better. Okay, kitchen regret number two, paint colors. <laughs> It's one thing to regret the paint color on your walls, but another thing to regret the paint color in your cabinets. <laughs> Those are a lot harder to repaint. Now you'll see how we have this two-tone cabinet color. The lowers are white and the tall cabinets and the cabinets around the range are a really soft blue-gray. Now this blue is a lovely color and it's exactly what I was going for. I absolutely love it right now, but I have sneaking suspicion I am going to wish I had gone with more neutral color, kind of like the grayish that's on the trim and doors around it. I really think I am going to tire of the blue. 
That's why I often play it safe with neutral colors for the foundation of the house. And then I'll use bolder colors in my accents so that I can just switch them up easily when I tire of a color. Like I said, I like it fine now, but don't be surprised if you see me repaint these cabinets in a few years. And please do not tell my husband I said this. <laughs> okay, kitchen regret number three, the cabinet fronts. Speaking of the cabinets, there is one other thing we regret and it has to do with buying them and not making them ourselves. Now we bought the Ikea kitchen cabinet bases and then had some custom fronts made for them to get our own unique look. And there are a lot of companies that will do this. I love the beaded fronts around the busy sink area. They look great and they wipe up really easy. And I know we couldn't have made those ourselves, but as soon as we received these simple flat panel custom fronts, we knew we had made a costly mistake. They were simply a flat piece of part of the board with holes drilled for the hardware. <laughs> now we planned on painting them ourselves, so that really was all they were. We could have saved thousands by just making these ourselves. In fact, we had held off ordering a few pieces like for the fridge panels um, because we didn't know the final size. And we just ended up buying the part of the board and making them ourselves. And they look exactly like the custom built ones. And you can really easily make a flat panel yourself. And I'm gonna show you how we um, do that when we begin to install some inside of a closet that we're working on right now. But oh, the money you could have saved. <laughs> These kind of things eat us alive, but that tends to be the do-it-yourself mentality. Okay, kitchen regret number four, the chairs and table. Now sometimes I regret that the kitchen table doesn't have more character. It looks a bit too, well, new. <laughs> I have this thing for old farmhouse tables and I think there is a table out there that could bring a lot more wow factor than this one we have in here. I mentioned in my reveal how we just adapted a rolling work table that we had previously built, cut down the legs to make it work as a dining table. We really needed to use what we had rather than spend any more money and this totally worked. The hubs built benches and I thrifted a couple of chairs and made slip, slip covers for them. And this super wide quartz top table is extremely family friendly. I will probably never change it because it functions so well and still looks pretty, but I will always envision that chippy, raw wood, gorgeous, authentic farmhouse table in my dreams. <laughs> and the chairs work. I definitely feel like the space needed more linen, but I'll probably keep an eye out for some lovely linen Parson chairs at some point. All right, kitchen regret number five. I regret to inform you that it has been about four months since we moved in and I still haven't organized the inside of these drawers and cupboards, <laughs> at least at the time of this filming. We moved in with all the kitchen belongings that we had in our RV life, which was few, and the rest of our items were still in storage. We slowly moved boxes in and out and stacked them in the pantry, but it is high time I start unboxing and put this kitchen together. Now that I have a lovely finished space, I suppose all the DIYs and the busyness of life just left it on the low priority list, but I am very anxious to put it all together I feel like I have a finished kitchen. <laughs> Let me know if this is something that you would like to see me do and share when I organize the kitchen space. I'm pretty excited to get to that at this point. <laughs> well, there you have it, five kitchen regrets, but my list of what I love is much longer. Would you share in the comments below something that you regret about your kitchen? Uh, I think this is a conversation that could be helpful to many of us as we design and rethink our kitchen space. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and watch as I design the rest of our home. We only have about 10 more spaces left to finish <laughs> and a complete mess of a yard. And I'm sure there'll be many more regrets along the way, but that's just part of the do-it-yourself fun. Now, please go visit my friends. Come back for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video.